In this video, we're going to solve a system of inequalities by graphing. After you see it done, you will be able to do it yourself. If you haven't, please take a second and subscribe to this channel. And thank you for watching. Let's begin now on MathCat. Three, two, one. We are going to solve this system of inequalities graphically, and we're going to do that by putting each inequality basically in the form of y equals mx plus b, or slope-intercept form, so that we can graph it. And our answer is actually going to be a graphical answer. So let's take the first equation and get y by itself on one side of the inequality using the rules for inequalities. That is, if you multiply or divide by a negative number, you have to reverse your inequality. So to get y by itself in this first equation, we need to subtract 2x from both sides of the equation. So I'll end up with y greater than or equal to minus 2x minus 1. And we'll write our x term first because we want it in the slope-intercept form. So the slope of this line will be negative 2. The y-intercept will be negative 1. The next equation, we want to get y by itself. So we first subtract x from both sides of the equation. And we'll get minus 4y greater than or equal to minus x plus 4. And now we have to divide through by negative 4. And by dividing through by a negative number reverses the inequality. So we'll divide through by negative 4, switches the inequality to less than or equal to. And now we have minus x divided by negative 4, or positive 1 fourth x. And positive 4 divided by negative 4 is minus 1. So these are the two inequalities that we need to graph. So the graph of the first inequality looks like this. It crosses the y-axis at negative 1, and it has a slope of negative 2. That would be over 1, down 2, over 1, down 2, to give us another point. Or we could go back 1 and up 2, back 1 and up 2. And it's greater than or equal to, so we draw a solid line for our graph, roughly going through negative 1. And it's greater than or equal to, so it's the side that's positive or greater than this line. And that's what the solution for an inequality will look like. For the second inequality, y less than or equal to 1 fourth x minus 1. Again, it crosses the y-axis at minus 1. And the slope is positive 1 fourth. So that looks like over 4 and up 1. Or back 4 and down 1. Negative and a negative because this is a positive slope. It has less than or equal to. So we draw a solid line. And y is less than or equal to this line. So it's this side of this line. That's what the graphs of the two inequalities look like. Now the solution set for both of them is the intersection. So we look at this area from this line to this line, and this is the area that they have in common. So we show that by a different kind of shading. So the solution to these two inequalities is in this region here. The way you would enter this on a graphing calculator, we'll hit the y equals button and we'll enter minus 2x minus 1. Remember that for a preceding minus sign, you want the minus sign with parentheses around it. Minus 2, variable x, and now the subtraction minus 1. And to make greater than or equal to, scroll all the way back to the left and hit enter until you get a solid triangle pointing up. That's the greater than or equal to sign. And for y2, we have positive 1 fourth, that's 1 divided by 4, variable x minus 1, that's a subtraction, 1, and we'll scroll over to the left and hit the enter three times, and now we have a little triangle pointing down. That's the less than or equal to sign. And when we hit graph, there's the first line, the first inequality, and the second inequality, and you can see the shaded area that they share in common. That's the solution set for this set of inequalities. To solve this set of inequalities, we want to put each inequality roughly in the form of y equals mx plus b. And I say roughly because this is actually an equation and these are inequalities, but we want to put it in slope-intercept form. So we want to get the y by itself on one side of the inequality. So let's take the first inequality, x minus y is greater than or equal to minus 3, and subtract x from both sides. That will give us minus y greater than or equal to, and we'll put the x first, minus x, minus 3. And now we divide through by negative 1 to get y by itself. And we divide through by a negative, it reverses the inequality. So dividing by negative 1 gives us y, reverse the inequality, less than or equal to. Now we have minus x divided by minus 1 plus x, and minus 3 divided by minus 1 plus 3. So that's one inequality. For the second inequality, we'll subtract 5x from both sides of the inequality, and that leaves us y greater than or equal to minus 5x minus 9. 
And now y is by itself on one side of the inequality. So we're done with that one. Let's graph these two inequalities. This first one crosses the y-axis at y equals plus 3, and it has a slope of plus 1. So that's over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1, and it's less than or equal to, and since it's equal to, we'll draw a solid line. If it was just less than, we would draw a dotted line, and y is less than or equal to this line, so it's on this side of this line. So that's the solution set for the first one. The second one crosses the y-axis at y equals minus 9 down here, and it has a slope of minus 5. So that's over 1, up 5, over 1, and up 5 again. So it's a steep descending line, and it's greater than or equal to, so we need a solid line, roughly like that. And y greater than or equal to would be on this side of this line. So the solution set for both inequalities would be the intersection. So we'll take this red line and this black line, and this common area is the solution set. And the way you would show this on a graphing calculator, hit the y equals button, and for the first equation, plus x plus 3, so you hit the variable x button, plus 3, scroll over to the left, and hit enter until you get a triangle shaded to the lower left for less than or equal to. And we'll go down to y2 and enter minus 5x minus 9. The first minus is a leading minus, so it's the one with parentheses around it. Minus 5, variable x, and now the subtraction minus 9. Scroll over to the left. Greater than or equal to, hit the enter button twice, and it's pointing up to the right. Hit the graph button. There's y equals x plus 3, and there's y equals minus 5x minus 9. And the solution set is where the two graphs intersect. And that's how you solve a set of inequalities graphically.